really good. Dooby dooby doop 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 dooby 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 doop doop paid Sparoni. So after watching pretty much every video on YouTube concerning pipe bending, tube bending, tube bending. Don't want to get comments. I watched every tube bending video I could, and um, they all seem to say to make a test bend. So that's what that looks like. But I made this that shows the start of the die and uh, the actual start of the bend and then the end of the bend. So I know because I marked it out how many inches of material that was using. Got 12 inches right here. So about 13 inches of material to make that. And then I can calculate six and a half inches, etc. So from there, I can measure from there to there to give me the amount of tube I need outside the die. Then 13 inches of tube will give me to there. And then from that line to the start of the next bend, I can know how much tube I'll need there. And then measure off 30 degrees to go out to where I want. And, uh, do the math on the inches for 30 degrees add that and then the distance from the end of that bend which would be about here to the beginning of this bend here add that and then add the distance from there to there mark it all out and uh, hope it adds up so once I bend one, ugh. once I bend one, really guy. Once I finish bending this side, if it lines up exactly the way I want, hopefully it does, then I can make the exact same bends, but in reverse for the other side, weld it up. Then put a crossbar across here, weld some tabs for the radiator and some tabs for the headlights and uh, blinkers, etc. And then we'll go in and finish all this out with some more tube probably and then some sheet metal panels to protect the engine from rocks. And then slowly work our way back around to the back. So I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. I was in advanced math classes. Because I was a smart ass more than anything, but mainly because I never did homework and then I would ace the test. But for those same reasons, I failed geometry and trig. Or no, wait, past algebra, almost failed geometry, failed trig. I think this is going to work. I'll know once I cut it and fit it. And if it does, then I'll just emulate exactly what I did, but in reverse. Then I'll have uh, at least the two benders. So, I think that went pretty well. I literally followed my little measurementy majigger. I think that's the technical term. To a T, down to the inches. I'll be damned if that template did not work. It is exactly what you need, so fuck me, that works. I would have to say that if I would have cut that pipe, to length based on those measurements and been a really smart guy and just added an inch to either end just to be you know for it to be able to bevel it or angle it or fish mouth it as needed that I, I think that would have fucking it would have nailed it because I could put a tape on that right now and I, I'm I'm willing to bet it matches up to those measurements so plan your work work your plan don't second guess yourself if that's your measurements based on that template i know it seems crazy and the more i bend the more confident i'll get in that i'm sure but sometimes you may want to you know be able to cut the piece of pipe and just bend it up instead of having this huge fucking piece of pipe running all the way through into the garage say if i wanted to have made that piece of pipe run from one side over and all the way around to the other side how you would have started in the middle with your measurements 
and then added up all of those i'm super impressed though i didn't even try to do that but if you notice the fucking seam is on the inside of the entire entire hoop so there's no chance i'm gonna punch that seam open on a rock or something that's fucking awesome really happy with that so i need to do that again but in exact opposite form that's going to be too short so i gotta get another piece of stick out of the back i got three more i think Take a break. So it took me a couple of tries. That one uh, was just a little too tight on the driver's side. I did manage to get the seam on the inside just like the passenger side. So I've got that down. I guess uh, in where I was setting the bender, maybe I changed the angle or when I put a block under it the second time, that changed the angle. Um, but I clearly figured out what I did wrong because on the second try I actually got it damn near I think the third try would have been perfect but I'm not gonna waste any more tube it's close enough so I'm gonna get these tacked in and uh, maybe full welded not sure I need to put some supports in before I finish weld them so I'll at least get them tacked in we'll see how it looks so that's finally done now I have somewhere to mount the radiator and the headlights and I think that's pretty much it I need to tidy up some wiring Mount the computer somewhere, put the overflow canister and the washer bottle back in, and that should be it. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always guys, keep on modding.